The holy month of Ramadan is here and every year millions of Indonesians travel back to their hometowns to gather with their families for Idul Fitri celebrations. But recent shortages of subsidized diesel is posing a problem this year as many intercity buses are already finding it difficult to find enough diesel for their long trips. The Muslim holy month of Ramadan has arrived. Every year, millions of Indonesians will travel back to their hometowns to celebrate Idul Fitri with their families at the end of the Ramadan month. So far, officials say that 50 to 70 percent of bus tickets for Idul Fitri have already been sold out. But for this year's Ramadan season, a big problem has emerged, namely shortages in diesel fuel. In the past month alone, buses have been finding it difficult to find supplies of diesel to fuel their trips. Shortages in diesel have been occurring in many areas across Indonesia, including along routes in Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi and Java. Meanwhile, in provinces like North Sumatra and Bengkulu, governors have limited the filling up of subsidized diesel to 150 liters per day, which is not enough for buses going on long trips. Head officials from the Indonesian Land Transportation Agency say that all this will pose a serious problem during the holy month of Ramadan. Di mana SPBU solar GBT-nya kosong, tapi di depan SPBU dan di sekitar SPBU solar ketengan apa solar eceran banyak. Jual pakai jerigen itu. Nah, ini mereka jual antara 8.000 sampai 9.000 rupiah per liter. Itu solar GBT. Nah, jadi ini yang kami sayangkan kalau pemerintah tidak tegas, tidak jelas dan tidak bisa mengakomodir apa yang kami butuhkan, ini akan terganggu masyarakat. Meanwhile, despite an increase in demand this year, the quota for subsidized diesel in 2022 is lower than the quota last year. However, the Indonesian oil and gas downstream regulatory agency said they are ready to increase the quota for subsidized diesel this year if the Ministry of Finance approves it. Adding to the problems, there have been reports of large-scale industries using subsidized diesel when they're not supposed to. The oil and gas downstream agencies said that a more robust digital monitoring system at gas stations is needed in order to prevent the misuse of a subsidized diesel. Alokasi kuota subsidi kita di tahun ini 2022 ini kan 15,1 ya kan turun dari uh, 2020 yang 15,8. Padahal 2020 itu kita mengalami COVID yang masih uh, cukup besar pengaruhnya terhadap ekonomi. Nah, kalau sekarang ini kan relatively kita sudah bergerak maju, bergerak cepat atau berlari untuk mengejar pertumbuhan ekonomi kita. Jadi saya pikir uh, usulan tersebut uh, apa logis ya, meskipun tentu kita menunggu uh, respon dari tentu dari otoritas keuangan. As millions of Indonesians prepare to make long trips back home for Idul Fitri, it is imperative that supplies of diesel are adequate so that people can return home to their families to gather and celebrate the end of the fasting month.